Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to talk about forensic genetics. For the last few days I'm watching, whenever I have time, watching uh, short uh, videos on the YouTube uh, that called Forensic Files. And for those of you who are also interested, I want to explain some uh, things that uh, you probably don't know. And uh, as usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve each problem on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. The forensic DNA typing procedure that uses uh, restriction endonucleases, electrophoresis, and southern blotting to analyze DNA is known by acronym, and here are the five answers to choose from. So... Uh, PCR acronym stands for the polymerase chain reaction. So basically we have a DNA fragment. This is uh, this can be double-stranded DNA. We design primers that uh, match uh, certain uh, fragments on those uh, DNA and using PCR uh, multiply this fragment and thousands and millions of copies. In order later to work with a large sample that can be visually seen, so with this technique we can obtain only single, uh, theoretically single uh, cell and uh, multiply some fragments in millions of copies and using special uh, dyes, pigments, we would be later if we run uh, a gel uh, would be able to see uh, this fragment on the gel. So uh, answer B, RFLP stands for Restriction Fragment Lens Polymorphism. And when we apply this technique, we basically also take uh, some fragment and uh, using different um, endonucleases, we cut this fragment. So fragment should be large enough. So uh, in uh, this fragment uh, we would be able to find such places where restriction endonuclease would cut it in half. And when we have very long fragment it can be cut in more places. And uh, when we have uh, such long fragment. It is possible that uh, some people may have uh, the same uh, locus, but instead of, uh, for example, adenine here, they may have thymine in this place, and uh, endonuclease wouldn't cut uh, in this specific place, but would cut in another place where there is no mutation. That's how um, DNA of different people can be uh, specified and DNA profile can be built. So here we would have one fragment, second and third. And here we would have only two fragments and both these two fragments would be different from any of this. So this is basically the idea that stands uh, behind uh, this technique. And in this technique, as you see, we using restriction endonucleases, electrophoresis in order to separate these fragments. We run a gel and southern blotting. So, uh, as you see, the correct answer is B, but I want to show you other uh, acronyms what uh, those acronyms stand for. Uh, and answer C, we an TR. Uh, in 1985, this technique we were proposed by Sir uh, Alec Jeffries. He's an Englishman, and this technique made a revolution in forensic science uh, because uh, this technique allowed it to uh, make a DNA profile that would take just days and not uh, weeks, like uh, in this example. Uh, the idea we were uh, to find uh, specific loci on the DNA. For example, this can be 
chromosome number one, this is chromosome number two, number three, number four, we have total number of 23 pairs, 46 chromosomes, all these chromosomes goes in pairs, so one from your mom, another from your dad, and uh, on each chromosome there are such places that we call uh, loci, uh, and such loci, when uh, present in non-coding sequence, uh, can contain different um, DNA uh, sequence. Uh, for example, some uh, sequence A, T, C, G can repeat in some people in such fragments uh, two times A, T, C, G and in other people can, uh, can be repeated uh, different number of times. So say um, four times. So in uh, chromosome that we got from uh, say father side we may have uh, four repeats here and from the mother side we may have five repeats here. And on the other chromosome we also may have different number of repeats, not necessary that this is going to be uh, this repeats. Um, uh, this can be different sequence, but uh, as you see, uh, such uh, repeats have a core. We, we call this uh, sequence that is repeated over and over again a core sequence. So on each chromosome, the core sequence can be different. Why variable number of tandem repeats is uh, not in use anymore? because it was replaced by different technique that we call STR, short tandem repeats. So basically this is absolutely the same technique with the only difference that in the first uh, technique that we proposed by Sir Alec um, Jeffries, he used a core sequence that consisted between 16 and 20 bases. So if uh, core sequence would be repeated 100 times, that means that uh, total length of the fragment would be uh, 2000 bases. And this is large fragment, especially when laboratory technicians work with highly degraded um, biological evidence. And of course uh, DNA also would be highly degraded and following technique that we call STR uh, using the same principles, but scientists have found different uh, loci on, th on the uh, 13 chromosomes uh, that has a core sequence between 3, 4 and 5 bases and uh, even if such core sequence would be repeated between uh, 50 and 100 times, uh, the total length of such fragment would be much smaller and uh, that gives us better possibility that such fragment would be intact and uh, would, we would be able to multiply it using PCR technique. In order to use this technique, we don't need restriction in the nucleases because this technique is based uh, on the principle that uh, such fragment, where we know that uh, here is present variable number of tandem repeats would be uh, flanked by the uh, DNA sequence that is stable, the same sequence in every person and we can construct uh, primers and uh, these primers we would use in order to multiply this fragment in thousands and thousands of copies but this fragment would be of the different lengths in each person. In some people uh, we have, we may have here coincidence of the same lens, but we cannot have coincidence of the same lens on all um, certain sites or loci, actually uh, 26, because we have uh, two identical chromosomes that we call homologous chromosomes, not exactly identical as you see, 
uh, but uh, this gives us uh, such a large number that uh, there is no two people with the same DNA profile uh, except, of course, uh, identical twins. So this is very reliable technique, but it doesn't use restriction in the nucleases. We use primers, we use uh, PCR, we use electrophoresis. So uh, here is the picture. As you see, uh, the first technique in this uh, uh, list, uh, this is uh, restriction fragment lens uh, polymorphism that I explained earlier. Um, it took between 10 and 12 weeks and a uh, large sample were needed. With PCR, as you see, very tiny uh, sample is needed because it can be multiplied uh, in million copies. And uh, next question. If one strand of the DNA molecule has the base sequence as follows, what would be the base sequence of the other strand? And in order to solve this problem, everything you have to know that adenine base pairs with thymine and guanine with cytosine. Let's now build another strand of the DNA. So guanine would base pairs with cytosine, cytosine here, thymine and thymine here. And as you know, uh, DNA strands goes in different directions. So uh, polymerase build uh, each new strand from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and here we would have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here and now we can choose the correct answer and as you see answer um, C looks like correct answer but here we have wrong uh, 5 prime end and 3 prime end so this is wrong answer but answer D, that is correct answer, uh, those it looks like uh, sequence is different. Here we have TT and CC and here we have CC and then TT. But actually molecule can be flipped over in horizontal uh, projection. So if we flip it over like this, uh, now this would become uh, 3 prime end here, then we would have T, T, C, C and 5 prime end here. So molecule can be easily flipped over, it doesn't have right side, left side, we can manipulate it uh, whatever we want. So as you see you have to pay attention to such details, not only to the um, correct sequence but also direction. And last comment, as you see, uh, this technique restriction fragment lens polymorphism uh, can took uh, up to 10-12 weeks, then we were replaced with other techniques that took days, and uh, nowadays short tandem repeats that is uh, used by CODI system or combined uh, DNA index system. Um, in order to make a DNA profile would take only hours. And I forgot to mention about answer E. I don't know what PM stands for, probably it doesn't make sense in context of the question. So as you see progress never stops and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any and see you in the next video. Goodbye.